Hilal ibn Sahar. You read that, I know you're looking at me funny because you, you're looking at the word Lucifer. Hilal, Hilal. Go to the Hebrew. Ben Sahar. That's the Hebrew rendering for the word Lucifer that you got here. Very important. Different. Hilal is an Arabic word, Aramaic, Ethiopian, Chaldean. Hilal means brightness and also means crescent moon. Son of the morning, Sahar, the morning star. Now, you know that when the Gideon plucked away the crescent moon from the camel's necks? Remember that verse I shared with you? He plucked what? The Saharon. The crescent, the Sahar. Son of the crescent also. The morning star, the whole thing. His nicknames, God loves nicknames. And by the way, most Americans think that here he is talking to the angel Lucifer. In his heavenly realm or being. No. He's talking to Antichrist. He's calling him, you're a crescent. You don't believe me. Say this is not talking about Antichrist. This is talking about the angel Lucifer. Tell me that. It is about Lucifer, yes. It is about the devil, yes. But it's about the devil meeting the body of Antichrist as he's cast out of heaven as a star rejected down to earth to take over the world. Look what it says. Look at verse that's right, verse 16. Those who see you will gaze at you. He's captured finally, right? And consider you saying, is this the man who made the earth tremble? When was Lucifer a man? The five eyes, you know, I will and I will and I will and I will. These are the declarations of Antichrist. He will sit on the sides of the north. And there you have it. It's all over. Now you go to the rest of the chapters of Isaiah, you go to chapter 15. It's talking about Moab, Jordan. Chapter 17, the burden against Damascus, Muslim country. Chapter uh, 18, Kush, Ethiopia. By the way, in chapter 18 of Isaiah, Ethiopia, Kush, is not what you think as modern Ethiopia. You gotta go to the Bible dictionary. For the word Kush is the landmass south of Egypt. And what is south of Egypt? Sudan, Somaliland, Muslim. Chapter 19. Behold, that's the one I shared with you. The Lord rides on a swift cloud and will come into Egypt. Will come into Egypt. Remember the first one? He's going to destroy Egypt. They all come at the end at the same time. Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, as you see, we played some uh, you know videos for you to show you that Islam is really the Antichrist and it is really the sa Satan himself. Uh, just to support more what uh, Mr. and the brother Walid Shubat was saying in his video, and he is an ex-Muslim as you know, and even he was an ex-terrorist. Uh, in here I will show you a verse in the Quran saying it clearly that all the hate have one sources according to the Quran it is Allah himself and especially between the Christians if a Christian hate his brother hate his brother Allah is the reason if a Christian man or a Christian woman hate his wife or hate her husband it's Allah is the reason if a Christian man hate his son it is Allah is the reason if Christians are fighting between them it's Allah is the reason and I challenge Muslim to say this is not a true this is your Quran in the front of your face chapter 5 verse number 14 from those two who call themselves Christians we did take covenant but they forgot a good part of the message that was sent to them so we stringed them with enmity and hatred between the one and the other to the day of judgment so Allah because those Christians they broke the covenant with him which may be the, to be to be filthy to be uh, pagans to be uh, a Kaaba worshipper to kiss the black stone to bow down to Allah 
you know, because they refuse to do that, I will create hatred between them, between the one and the other. So now, remember, anyone say to you, Christian do fight, say to him, because of Allah. Christian did slavery. Who made the white man hate his brother in Christ and he is a black man? Is it the Bible? Absolutely not. Is it Christ? Absolutely not. It is Allah. This is why until now the whole world get rid of slavery except the Muslims. You know, the, the, the Muslims, they go into the black Africa and they say to them, Oh, Islam is against slavery. Muslims cannot sign any law against slavery because if they do so, it's mean they sign a law against Islamic Sharia a law. This is why they are even refusing to discuss about it. It's part of their life. This is how it is. We are Muslims. Slavery is part of our religion. You cannot even to go to go to court to sue someone for slavery because this is Islam. So to go back to the topic, when somebody says to you, Christian are bad, Christian they hate each other, and this is a message for you Christians, that Allah is the one who wants you to hate your brother in Christ. We see some Christians fighting over, he is a Catholic, he is a Protestant. This is what Allah wants. All of us, we go and we worship one Lord. He wants you to hate your brother in Christ. He wants you to be an animal between your, the society. He wants you to be a drug dealer. He wants you to be a prostitute. He wants you to be bad. This is what Allah wants. Do you see it? He is the one. He stringed every kind of hate between the Christians. He is the fire of hate. He is the oil of hate. This is Allah. This is why we say Allah is Lucifer. He is the Antichrist. He is Satan. There is no God will make people hate each other. There is no God will make a man hate his wife. There is no God will make a man hate his son. There is no God will make people hate each other. You are a white man. You are a black man. You know what? Let us make them fight. This is the act of Allah as you see. If Allah is the one who is doing this, how Allah will stop you killing each other if you accept Islam? If you obey Him, if you became a slave for Him, then Allah will stop stringing or the strength, the hate between you. So are you Christian getting the message? Allah is Satan. And any hate between the Christians is coming from Allah according to Quran. And I believe this is true. I believe this is true. This verse is absolutely true. Satan in here is announcing himself to you saying, I am Allah the God of Muslims. I will increase hate between you. And he is so successful. He made millions of Christians die in war between each other. And the Muslims was watching. More than 8 million Muslims was part of the army of Hitler, killing Christians. They supported Hitler because he is the one of hate. He is the man of hate. I will increase hate between you. This is what Allah is about. So I hope everybody will take reference and please spread the message. Tell everybody about us. Let more people come to our video to show you the truth that Islam is false and Jesus is Lord and Allah the God of Muslims is Satan. Amen. Thank you.